Hi guys, it's me, the Moon Moon Gamer. I know, I said, maybe I'm not gonna use the webcam just yet, but I decided to, yeah, try it out. And today we are playing Stardew Valley. Let's uh, check what's in our box. Oh, of course, we got parsnip seeds. Yay. Anyway. I thought I would try this out uh, while playing um, Stardew Valley. I haven't recorded Stardew Valley on this channel before, but I really love this game. It's so simple, it's like old school. Uh, if any of you remember uh, the game Harvest Moon, um, I used to play that a lot when I was a teenager. That was a fun game. So, we got a few quests, getting started. If you want to become a farmer. You have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil. Oh, indeed I will. Indeed I will. Then use a seed pocket packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. All right. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. What it doesn't say is when it rains, you don't have to water it. Introductions. It will be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. I highly, highly doubt it. I'm not that interesting. But we will do it. So, this first day will uh, consist of... Uh, oh boy. Uh, cleaning out a little bit. Making room for um, some crops. And I do not want to take all this grass just yet, because um, when we get a silo, we can uh, uh, fill it with hay when we cut the grass. And if you haven't played this game before, I recommend it. I really do. It looks very simple and uh, <laughs> very old school. If you are into that kind of games, that's fine. If not, try it anyway. It's uh, very addicting. Oh, this first X is so slow. It's fine. I'm not complaining. In fact, I am having myself a tiny beer tonight. Oh, that's good. Cheers, guys. Why don't you have one? It's on me. Okay, I will remove this. I can't stand it being... Uh, uh, being like this. I need it cleaned up. It needs to look good. So, um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with this game, this is the uh, forest farm, and uh, what's special about the forest farm is that um, it is uh, very high in resources, uh, like uh, stone, trees, whatever, uh, but it makes farming difficult, as the game says. And the reason for that is that you have to clean so much. You have to clean up everything because there are uh, basically no uh, uh, no spaces for you to uh, put your farm or your crops. How many was that? Uh, let's try again. One, two, three, four, five. We have fifteen. Another row. One, two, three, four, five. And when you uh, up your tools, you will be able to uh, to uh, hoe down uh, a little bit more of the soil or till the soil uh, than just one at a time. Um, you upgrade your tools in stages, and uh, every new stage has uh, its advantages. So, like with this watering can, this is the first stage. It's just basic, and uh, the watering can waters one plot at a time. 
makes it very difficult when you start to expand your farm. Uh, same with the hoe. But when you upgrade it, it will um, uh, water and till uh, three tiles at a time in one row. Uh, that's the um, iron upgrade, I think. And uh, the next one is gold. And when you upgrade to gold, it will uh, water or till uh, nine tiles in a square. So that's nice. Anyway, um, doing a bit of uh, foraging. Uh, early game, I recommend uh, just picking up anything you can find. Oh, a person. Let's go say hello. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Oh, I'm gonna need you. Especially after tonight, if you know what I mean. Ah. That's it. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I'm sure it is. Oh, you have more to say. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Well, I find farming rewarding work already. Uh, the thing about Harvey, you will notice, he is a very talkable person. He will talk a lot. So when you meet him at uh, like, uh, oops, like gatherings or something in Pelican Town, he will uh, always have a lot to say. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. Sure I will, Emily. Sure I will. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. How about after work? You know what I'm saying? No, I am not. And that's fine. I don't even know where Haley is. So, as I said, I have played this game before. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Oh, hi, Grandma. Uh, and uh, Haley, uh, Emily's sister, she is, um, yeah, she's the B word. Oh, most definitely, she's the B word. Jody, oh! You aren't exactly how I imagined. Well, thank you, Jody. But that's okay. I'm Jody. Okay. Don't feel like I'm talking to you anymore. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. How? How could it change things? What can I do? Oh, hello! Hello! You must be Moon Moon. Indeed I am. The new farmer. I'm Caroline. Caroline! My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? I have not. She's the pale one with the purple hair. Pale and purple. I like that. Let's see what we can find. No one in the doctor's office? Get to work, Harvey! Oh, hello. Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. I want to talk more. You're nice. Hello, Pierre. Welcome to Pierre's Need Some Supplies. Maybe. I will sell all my daffodils. And I will buy, hmm, let's see, the bean starter, they take 10 days to mature, but keeps producing after that. That could be nice. We don't have a lot of money, though. 60, that will be about, no, exactly, 10. Ah, let's just buy 10. It will give us some uh, steady income for uh, the spring. And now let's meet Pierre. Hey, it's Mr. Moon Moon, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, 
owner of the local general store. Hello, Pierre. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Really. You see, farmers are important. Let's see if there are any more people here. Ooh, fire. Mmm, good and warm. It's currently snowing outside. Uh, we've been having a storm for like two days with just massive amounts of rain. Um, everything was okay here, but uh, a lot of roads and uh, and uh, stuff got flooded over and uh, yeah. Oh, aren't you the new uh, the the one who just moved in, Maru? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Really. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter their community dy dynamic. It's exciting. Now I feel the pressure. Yeah, so that's me trying to talk while I read. Multitasking. Didn't go so well. Oh, hello. Penny. Penny, 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 penny. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. That's it? Too busy doing the dishes. Alright, let's see if George is home. I remember George. There he is. Oh, he's a grumpy old man. <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, boss off. I do like... I Yeah, I like George. I, I really do. No. But I think maybe Alex is good enough friends with himself. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So yeah, we've been having this storm here, uh, and uh, people have gotten their uh, basements flooded and everything. Uh, but uh, luckily, uh, we didn't have to suffer through uh, that. We got a lot of rain, but uh, luckily uh, everything uh, is okay. Well, hello there! I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. More? Good evening, can I get you anything? No. Oh, there he is. Alex. Oh, hey. So you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'll see you around. Indeed. So many people. Let's start with Pam. Hey kid, name's Pam. Don't be a jerk, and we'll get along fine. I have always imagined Pam's voice like that because she's a smoker and a heavy drinker. Any more? No? Abigail. Purple hair. Come on. Damn it. There we go. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving onto that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, thank you. People are so nice. Who are you? Sam. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. That's it. Nothing else. How many have you met now? 17 of 28. Hmm. Uh, that's Penny. There's a kid. Hey, kid! Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. <laughs> Mama, that advice worked nicely. And this is... Come on. Haley. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Huh? Oh, uh, I'm Haley. Mm, if 
weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. I feel so loved. Let's see. Who else can we meet? This is a nice place though. You can also uh, enter uh, this area from your farm. And uh, there is always uh, a lot of good foraging to do here. Oh, hello. Jazz. Hi. That's it. Oh, there's Marnie. This is Marnie's place, by the way. She sells uh, the uh, animals and uh, produce for the animals, like hay and stuff. Uh, radiators uh, and uh, like uh, uh, these uh, automatic um, milking machines and uh, stuff like that. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me uh, you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Uh, I, I just did. But okay. So, not many more people to meet right here. I don't think we will get to meet everyone uh, today. But I thought, while we're here, just do some foraging. I also want to um, plant the beanstalk that we bought today, just to get it growing as quickly as possible. And uh, in the spring, as you can see here, uh, there always grows uh, spring onions here. Uh, in uh, various amounts so uh, you can go here from day to day and harvest a few to uh, many they don't sell for uh, a whole lot but uh, it adds up I think that's uh, all I will do here now 7.30 we still have some time Let's uh, go to the saloon and see if uh, anyone else has showed up. Oh! Hello! Er, uh, hi. I'm Clint. I'm the Tom Blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Thank you, Clint. Let's see. Oh. Shane. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? He's um, kind of a loner. Got a drinking problem. And uh, not very nice at all. There's the mayor. Mayor? So, how was your first night in the old cottage, Mayor Lewis? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think, deep down, he actually loved that house. I think so too. Okay, that's all the people we are going to meet today. We need to head back as fast as we can and uh, plant some uh, seeds. Then we are going to bed. And that's the end of the first day. So while we are uh, just running, I have uh, the game on auto run, by the way. Uh, we can talk a bit. Um, I have decided tomorrow I will try to uh, do a live stream for five. Uh, and uh, the live stream I would like to do is... Um, one I tried to do uh, at uh, New Year's Eve, or uh, the day before, no, it was uh, New Year's Eve. I did uh, The Witcher 1, and that was a cool game, and uh, the stream turned out really great. The only problem was uh, my program, it had um, the wrong input for my microphone. So uh, when I uh, looked over the stream uh, right after it was done, there was no voice. It was quiet. Quiet as the grave. So that was sad. 
I ended up deleting it and uh, I have decided that I will try one more time. Now I have uh, this uh, new equipment. I have the Yeti microphone with a pop filter and I also have this webcam. Uh, Logitech. So I thought if I get everything to work as I want, then we will do a live stream tomorrow night. And that will be the first Witcher game. And I hope you all will be there. And uh, this is the end of uh, day one in Stardew Valley. I hope you uh, are doing okay. Cheers to you. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. It's right down there. I know you can. If you want to. Cheers. Next time. Bye bye.